I write my goals down every year, like how much I want to do in my business. It's not just business goals, it's personal goals, it's social, it's family, it's all that stuff. Um, and, and I look at them, I carry them in my, in my, uh, on my phone. Um, is, with a show of hands, who, who, who's written down their goals? Great, excellent. And you've written your goals down, and do you have a strategy to, have you written your strategy, do you have a strategy to, to get to achieve those goals? If you've done that, okay, we've got a couple of them. And then, and then once you get your strategy, then you gotta execute. If you don't have a strategy um, mapped out, talk to Dan, because um, Dan's gonna help you with that. Um, I have a business coach, my, I've made, I'm living proof that networking works. Um, I've made literally millions of dollars over the years in the tip um, and WRN, and I've passed millions of dollars as well, and it's, it's, it's all worked, and the more you give, the more you get. So let me, let me just uh, tell you a little bit about me and my family and uh, the work that I do. Um, that's my son, Nicholas. <laughs> That's him a few years ago. Uh, that's my son, Alex. Uh, Alex has autism. He was diagnosed at 18 months. He's almost 17 now. Mikey here taught him how to swim. Um, made a pool save. So I'm probably indebted to Mikey if I start crying. That's because I love her and our family loves her. Uh, so here's Alex skiing up in Mammoth. Um, there is a program up in Mammoth where they take uh, people with all kinds of disabilities, including wounded warriors, people who are amputees, and they get them up on skis, um, and they have all they have volunteers who do this, and it's, it's a lovely program. So, so we'll, go, we'll go up to Mammoth, and we get Alex into the program, and we get him skiing, and um, the rest of us ski too, and it's actually kind of cool. Um, so if you ski and you want to volunteer, it's, it's a great place to volunteer. I'm not a very good skier, so I just donate money. Um, <laughs> uh, that's my daughter, Natalie, and there's Alex again. Um, this is after the Rose Parade Day. You can go visit the, flo the floats. Um, so we did that. Natalie is now 20 and she's back uh, from school. She goes to Reed College. And Alex is going to be a, or he's a uh, sophomore now. Um, there's my wife, Suzanne. Been married 22 and a half years. I don't know how she does it, uh, <laughs> putting up with me. Um, and she's a lawyer too, but when our son Alex got diagnosed, she co-founded a school in Westchester, which is where Steve Casey lives, um, called Wish Charter School. It's the only school of its kind in the country. It's K through 11, they're adding 12 next year, where they take disabled kids and put them in the same classroom as typical kids, and it's called an immersion program. They partner with LMU. Uh, they've won uh, awards, national awards, and gone to Washington, D.C. There's a waiting list of about 1,000 families to get in. It's pretty cool, so that's, that's her body of work, which is much more significant than mine. Okay, this lady, who's that? That is the princess of Monaco. And she is the princess who kissed the frog, me, because a few years ago I was lucky enough to be invited to play in a beach volleyball tournament uh, in Monaco, uh, actually the south of France, um, at a place called Rogagel, uh, with the Prince of Monaco. And we ended up taking second in the tournament and we actually got medals because the Prince is on the IOC, International Olympic Committee, and the Princess gave us medals, so I was lucky enough to get kissed by her. I, she didn't make me any better looking, unfortunately. <laughs> so here, here's uh, my friend. I've been practicing law for about 27 years and I do a lot of personal injury cases. Um, the accident work that we do is auto, bicycle, motorcycle, pedestrian, big rig, uh, all kinds of other cases. Um, in terms of auto versus auto collisions, rear end collisions, red light collisions, lane change collisions, um, bicycle collisions, and Greg <laughs> Davis isn't here because he loved this one. Uh, you can win the door prize, so you're riding your bicycle down the street and somebody opens their car door. They have a duty to actually look before they open their door. A lot of people don't. They just open their door and you, they just, you hit the door, you flip over, um, it's an endo, and you get hurt. Uh, a lot of people get, uh, uh, they get rear-ended, bicycles get rear-ended. Um, there was a Kaiser physician's assistant who got rear-ended um, because a motorist just wasn't paying attention. A lot of people are out there texting. Uh, we got her a lot of money on, on a case where she, she had another lawyer and it wasn't working out, so she came to us and we were able to, to get her uh, a lot of money. Um, lane change, uh, there's a big firm lawyer cut off my 
on my doctor, uh, uh, climb on PCH, and collided, and we got the doctor a lot of money. When the doctor can't go to work and they can't perform surgery, they lose a lot of money. And we're able to get them money, a uh, reimbursement for the, the work that they missed and the surgeries that they missed, uh, which is a, it's a big loss of earnings claim. All right, motorcycle accidents, uh, left turn accidents. There's a client who's a UCA, UCUSA PhD, um, two, two of them. Now another one was a male model hit by a car turning left. Uh, the front, this, uh, 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 the USC PhD, it's a friend of mine from Beach Volleyball for, you know, going back uh, 35 years or so, uh, maybe more. And um, super nice guy, and he just tried to be a nice guy and tried to handle it himself with the insurance company. and we. They offered him a paltry amount of money, I think, maybe five hundred, or excuse me, maybe five thousand dollars, and he needed surgery. Um, and we were able to get him the insurance policy limits, which were fifty thousand dollars. And the, uh, the insurance adjuster said, "Quote, you caught me." <laughs> so, like, I, I basically busted her for trying to lowball a client, which is illegal to do. Uh, illegal to do in the state of California under California insurance code. You're not supposed to give lowball offers. Uh, so people try to do these things, things themselves sometimes, and they just they just get really taken advantage of. Uh, you lane change accidents, freeway accidents, crosswalk accidents. This is a, an illustration of a case that we had that settled on the second day of the trial uh, for six and a half million dollars. And there's a lady who's 80% uh, across a, a sidewalk. Let me know how much time I have. And the, this is a garbage truck that's right side driven. And, thanks. and, the, and the truck driver, is a garbage truck driver, city of Glendale, is supposed to stand up and clear the zone because he has a blind spot in the in the upper right here. Right here, he can't see because he's driving in the in the upper right, and he doesn't clear the zone. And what happens is this lady, super nice lady. I mean, she's a she's a, a almost a perfect witness. I mean, they don't exist. Yeah, but but she she's a a school nurse for the, the LAUSD for. 40 years, and she liked to do two things. She liked to, to sew and, and to pray. Went to church a lot. Um, and, and here she is. She basically, they, they run her over, and they pin her arm. Okay, and they, they pin her arm under all three axles of the truck, which is 60,000 pounds. And they, they, uh, you know, they, they basically opened up her arm. It's, it's called a degloving injury. And it, it's like a textbook sort of gross you guys out but um, the trauma surgeons did a great job they saved her arm they saved her life and the biggest issue in the case is her life expectancy because she's only supposed to live to about 97 she's still alive um, we still correspond I sent her C's candy she sends me these, these big tins of uh, caramel corn and stuff um, and she's, she's in Chicago now which is originally where she's from uh, so I do big rig uh, collisions. I've got one right now. It's a wrongful death case where a guy's riding his bicycle and a truck makes an illegal left turn and ran him over, and he's that's pending right now. Um, and a lady who's uh, if I go to the previous slide, she was knocked off the freeway by. Hey, Mike, I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, it seems to me driving around these LA roads that there's a lot of accidents being caused by Lyft and Uber drivers. Am I wrong in that? No, and I, and I do a lot of those cases as well too. They're, there's, they, they drive crazy. There's, yeah, and, and those are those are great cases. We just wrapped up a case earlier this year that was referred by uh, Joe Latip, um, and it was a Christmas, uh, people were coming back from a Christmas party, they were Uber passengers, and there was a guy, and I can't make this up, who left, uh, who left a, 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 a restaurant, a bar called The Village Idiot, and uh, he worked there, and he was drunk, and ran a red light, and clocked these people, and we got him a lot of money. He only had $15,000 in insurance policy limits, but Uber had a combined single limit policy of a million dollars, and we were able to tap into that, and we got out of the million, I think, because we had another, the driver of the car also got money, but out of the million, I can't tell you, uh, it's confidential. We got a lot of money for him. Uh, close to the million, but you know, I can't tell you what it is. But it worked out nicely. So that's that's what I do. If you know anyone who's been hurt, uh, please have them give me a call. Fractures, herniated discs, wrongful deaths, burns, scar cases, any kind of premises liability, slip, trip, and fall, nightclub security case. We had a guy who was stabbed outside of the nightclub by another another patron. Security didn't take care of his trans 
transected his nerve, it was really bad, got him a lot of money. Uh, food poisoning cases, dog bites, cat, cat attacks, government cases, so anybody trips and falls or slips and falls on the sidewalk, uh, garbage trucks, parkway areas. And why choose us? Excellent customer service, we care about our clients, we love what we do, and we hate to lose. Let's hear it from Mike Goltz and everybody.